Hey everyone, this is Rek here and in this video I will show you how to get the best config file in Fortnite to boost FPS and fix FPS drops in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. I'm going to show you how to drastically boost FPS in Fortnite using the best and optimal settings and tweaks to get the maximum FPS and lower input delay while playing the game. These settings will make sure that you're getting the best FPS and as low latency or input delay as possible on your machine while gaming and fix any and all stutters or lags that you might be experiencing. But before that, if you want to support my work don't forget to leave a like on this video it will only take you guys a second and it would help me out so so much and use code Reknetic for further support on the channel so without any further ado let's get straight into today's video so as i told you guys that i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the best fortnite config file settings for the new chapter 3 season 2 so that you can experience the game much more smoother and fix any lags or stutters this is all really simple and easy and all you guys need to do is follow along with everything that i do so yeah let's get straight into it so the very first thing that you want to do is open up your start menu and search for run go ahead and open up the run box and once this box opens up you guys need to go ahead and type in percentage local app data percentage once again and then go ahead and click ok once this opens up all you guys need to do is open up the fortnite game folder go into saved go into config windows client and then game users settings right click on it go into properties and just make sure that the read only is unchecked if this is checked it won't allow us to edit the file therefore it is really important that you go ahead and uncheck this hit apply ok right click and go ahead and click on edit now once this opens up the first thing that you want to do is set the full screen mode to zero this is going to make sure that we are playing in the full screen mode and which is going to help us lower the input delay as well as increase the fps next thing that you want to change is be motion blur and just go ahead and set it to false we don't want any motion blur same thing for the show grass go ahead and set it to false and show fps go ahead and set this to true then moving on to the dlss quality set this to zero and set the ray tracing settings to to false set the ray tracing shadow quality to false as well ray tracing reflection quality go ahead and set this to zero ambient occlusion quality go ahead and set this to false as well ray tracing ao quality set this to zero then we move on to the display gamma setting and this is going to be by default set to 2.2 but what we want to do is replace this two with the zero and replace this two with a one so it should look something like this one before the decimal point and then six zeros after the decimal point then if you scroll down you will see b disable mouse acceleration go ahead and set this to true because we don't want mouse acceleration we want to disable it to lower our mouse input delay then scrolling down to be allow multi thread rendering now for me personally i have turned it off however if you have more than four cores then you might want to go ahead and set this to true and in order to check your cores just go ahead and open up the task manager go into the performance go into cpu and it should be right here now i do have four cores however for me i have personally tested it and turning it off works better for me so it's really up to you however if you do have more than four cores then I would highly recommend to set it to true and then test it and see what works for you. Then scrolling down to be sync, make sure that this is turned off. Resolution, go ahead and set this to whatever you want. It's really up to you. Audio quality, set this to zero. And then we move on to the scalability groups and just go ahead and copy all of these settings which are all set to zero except for the resolution quality which is the 3D resolution and it's set to 100%. And with that, we are done with all of the game user settings. And now you can go ahead and file, go ahead and click on save. Close out of this, right click on the game user settings.ini, go into properties and now make sure that the read only is checked. This is to make sure that the game does not change any of the settings that we have applied so far. So make sure that the read only is checked and click on OK. Now that we have applied it, you can close out of this, open up your Fortnite and you should be good to go. However, if you want to get even more FPS and increase the performance in Fortnite, then click on this video right here as it will show you how to drastically boost the performance in Fortnite using various tweaks and optimal optimizations. 